Okay, these tools right here, it's a basic breakdown of the necessity tools that's out here in the field. Recycling, you know, you never know what you're gonna need at the moment, but this right here is a basic breakdown of what you can use when you're first getting started and you upgrade as you go along. You don't even need a toolbox. You can get that later. Put it in the bucket. Now let's head off to the field. Okay, we got piece here. Sinks, a lot of kitchen sinks, bathroom sinks, which you call, I got the faucet head, but don't stick. It's got some precious metal in there. So you want to try and look for that precious metal, that's what you want to break down. The sinks and things, I like to go. Loosen up your drain lines and your plumbing lines. Take your pliers there. Loosen that up there. There. Call this a loose from up under the sink. So as far as when it comes to when I want that first piece here. That's what we want, right? We got our magnet tested out. The magnet don't stick must be legit okay here's some of the key investing tips when you start doing your recycling business you want to invest in some of these things here I got Ryobi smaller entry-level tool sets but got a sawzall you can cut some of that metal down quickly got your basic drill this right here this next piece right here comes in handy that grinder Put your cutting blade on there, you grind, you cut things up real fast on the go. These things are all just pretty typical power tools on the go when you're scrapping, getting started. Investment, small investment plan right there. Got a couple tools out of you know, we'll talk. All right, one of the common questions you get when you're starting to do scrapping and recycling. How do I know which metal is which? It takes a while to get to know these things. What kind of metal is what's brass, what's aluminum, or whatnot, you know, and um, how do you not get ripped off at the recycling yard and the scrap yard? Now, for me, I've been going to the same place for a while. And um, after you get to know these guys, if you separate this stuff, put it in buckets. You see, I put, I got always got to have different buckets so you know you separate it. Usually, you, when you get there, They'll separate it and when they put it on the scale, they'll separate some of the things and let you know. If you ask a couple questions as you go, become familiar. They're pretty local guys, you know. I check them out and you're wondering, why they don't never pay me for my gold? I keep getting ripped off, they're not paying me for my gold. Well, stick around long enough and you find out this is not gold. But it is precious metal. Stay tuned.